Yes, there's a sugar shortage. What you're seeing here equates to about 40%, you know, of daily production. Uh, if you look at the number of running days, we are talking of uh, running four days, you know, out of seven in a week. Now, our situation here as soon is a lot better than many other mills uh, because some mills have been shut down for significant periods. Others have probably been running for about two days, you know, out of seven. Uh, now, this situation will only be resolved you know, by sustainable cane production. That's it. Because uh, everybody is busy importing sugar, you know, and selling. And as I mentioned to you, uh, the people who have not imported sugar are uh, basically your Mara sugar, which is Transmara, Sony, Soya, Chemelil, you know. Yes. Uh, anybody else I've not mentioned in that uh, frame has imported sugar. They're actually packing, and, but not labeling, not labeling the sugar as imported. The impact of importation is that when our sugar prices collapse, as they have collapsed, there's a lot of pressure to reduce the cane price. Now when the cane price is reduced, even though as Sony we have not reduced the cane price, but when the cane price is reduced, then you are reducing the returns, you know, to the farm. Because national production, all the millers combined, we, we were producing somewhere between 55,000 to 60,000 metric tons of sugar per month, but now we are down to below 20. In fact, sometimes we are down to 12. All the males combined. So you can see that gap. That gap is big. Now, even as you are producing at 55 to 60,000 metric tons per month, the monthly requirement of the country for domestic sugar, you know, table sugar, what we call table sugar, not the industrial sugar, is around 65,000 metric tons. So even if we are producing fully, there's still a gap of about 10 to